Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games here on Shogi Wars. So, I think last we played, we were doing Third File Rook. I think I'll continue doing that since it seemed to have worked out so well. Um, again, thanks to the Japan Shogi Association for making these quotes available, or these traditional proverbs, rather. Uh, I found them in a listing on a translated webpage, which I give credit to. Um, sorry, I don't remember the link offhand. Good luck. But these are all traditional proverbs. So here we have in the opening, bishop is more important than the rook. People have opinions about what this means. I don't myself completely understand it. Uh, huh. I don't understand this either. Like, this indicates an attack for sure. Uh, I don't know why, though. Welcome. Um, like, what is the object of the attack, I wonder? Because this attack is always going to be one turn behind Senta's attack, so... I don't fully comprehend what's going on. Um, oh, right. That attack is still quite rapid. Um... Well, I'm curious. Let's find out. Let's see where we end up, shall we? I'm just a bit dreadful of what might happen here, but uh, also excited. So let's just live off of the excitement and We'll learn something. Okay. So they've doubled the rooks. Um, is that a good thing for them? I'm not sure. Uh, this looks interesting. And then from here I can take a silver. I could even take a lance and use that to attack. Um, yeah, I'm confused. So the king is quite important in the game of shogi. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't fully grasp this. I do see a number of tactics that work out poorly if I do sketchy things. So I think this is the best I can manage here. Um, it's not what I dreamed of, but, um, you know, there is a rhyme and a reason and a purpose to it all. Uh, I'm in check. Interesting. I don't understand that either. If I run this way, I'm running away from the dragons, which generally is the safe thing to do. Nanafun. But this looks really specific. Um, hmm. Running away from the dragon looks almost certainly like the right thing to do. I'm not sure, though. Uh, 
this got really complicated. Um, all right, let's fight. This is so dangerous. We're playing with dragons, folks. Uh huh. So I've got two knights in hand. That's scary. I can't do that. Um, well, maybe I could. Maybe that's actually best, even though it's scary. Uh, what else could I consider? No, this, this looks as reasonable as anything, actually. What a complicated situation. <laughs> In the opening, the bishop is more important than the rook. So says the proverb. Okay. Um, Go home. Right, that's a sensible ceiling move. Do I just take it? Hmm. Okay, here we're playing with all the fire. Um... So, stuff is hanging, yo. A lot of stuff is hanging. Um, they're threatening... I don't even know what. I'm trying to figure out what the threats might be here. So... I think my king can escape whatever they're threatening. So we're going to take this and run like hell. I'm half suspecting dragon takes gold, but my king escapes forward. This lance drop was reckless. I should not have done it. But the rest of this looks pretty interesting. This pawn drop, yeah, this completely ruins my situation here. Um, unless somehow I can attack this king faster, maybe I can. It's not looking likely, but I'd have to push, take, I don't even know what. I don't have time for my attack to prevail. But I don't see them attacking either. Hmm. So that would be a free move in most situations. It looks free here as well. Um, which is terrible. If I poke the dragon, they silver drop me somewhere, and I die. Yeah, I can't poke the dragon. 
Um, okay. I run. Is that mate? Oh. That's mate. That is a uh, well spotted checkmate. Nicely done. Thanks for the game. One down, two to go. So, as it goes with the series, I tend to play all my games and then do some analysis afterward. The analysis doesn't always make it into the video. Because analyzing could take an hour or two or five, and it's difficult to communicate about analysis, so we just roll with it. Good luck. I'm sure there is a ton to learn from that. First of all, being like castle before you commit all into an attack like this. Um, So, how does this go again? Hmm. How does this go again? Normally I'd be pushing on the third file, however... Oh! Is this American opposing rook? Is that why we had the red top hat thing. Cool. Uh huh. That's spiffy. Well, we'll just build a castle. There's my castle. I'll push here, because that's what I tend to do against Anaguma, is push this file. It tends to be super effective. Um, what next, though? Uh huh. Okay, fine. Our opponent plays this really constrained thing. I'm gonna shut down the diagonal like this. Do they not mind my invasion? What's this? Am I getting my silver trapped? Is that what's going on here? Because, yeah, they could push. I take. Okay. Not sure if this is what they were aiming for. Um, well, hang on. They don't have a pawn in hand. And also, their bishop doesn't have a lot of spaces to go to. Um, yeah, we're just going to take the pawn. But then follow that up by winning a bishop? Unless I've missed something. So, true, they have built the Anaguma Castle. Um, oh, okay, that's the thing I missed, is that they could do this really tricky retreat. Um, I could dance my silver back over this way, which would be kind of silly, but it's possible. Um, also possible is a fork with a bishop down there. It's not what I was looking for. Um, hmm. I feel like there's some third option that I'm missing here. I 
it's awesome having the silver so close to the castle. Oh, a, a, rook, a rook exchange has some merit here, too. No, not a lot of merit, though. All my pieces are floating. I should be terrified. Um, yeah, we'll fix the floating pieces situation here. Oh, really? Was this your plan? I don't believe it was. Okay. What was the next part of your plan? Pray tell. That was the next part. Okay, what was next on this agenda? This doesn't add up. Mm -hmm. I don't think this is how they planned things to go. So we're just going to push this and win a rook. Um, that's fine. Do I bother to oppose that? I probably should. They have no pawn in hand. Um, yeah, I'll take one second and push this up. Um, there we go. So they do have a more solid castle, but there's a few tactics going on in this position. Um, just a few. <laughs> they do have the will potentially have a knight in hand here. So this is a fork. Right, we'll promote over this way. That's the night drop. That looks cool. Um, what does it do next, I wonder? Hmm. All right, let's just keep attacking. Okay, they get my gold general. Wait, do I even take that? Oh man, this is wild. Um, I feel like I should take that because it's right next to my king. But also I get a rook if I ignore it. Am I getting the rook anyway? I don't know. I 
I'm afraid of my bishop getting trapped here. Yeah, okay, we're gonna protect my king for once. <laughs> they do have a bishop trap, but I can protect my bishop. There we go. So... Uh, they have a really solid castle, which I'll spend the next 3 minutes and 16 seconds breaking to bits. That's the plan. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. I don't want this rook to become a problem. Maybe it already is one. Sampun. Oh, snap, Shogi. Finally, I activate my Rook. And then we try to figure out the rest of this with the timer ticking. How do we defend things? Yeah, that it's the strongest castle you can build. The downside is sometimes it's difficult to build an attack if you've built this castle. Um, and this is one of those occasions. Oh my god. So... I don't know how to continue this. My goal is to have my opponent's pieces trip over each other as much as possible here. Um, while I continue trying to build an attack. This could be very difficult.
1分三十秒。二十秒。10秒ナイスリプレイド時間切れ There was no time to figure this out. <clears throat> Nicely played. Two down, one to go. I should have escaped my king when I had a chance much, much earlier. Here we go. Our opponent is on a six game winning streak. Um, I'm on a two game losing streak after a six game winning streak. How might this go? All right, we're just going to play fourth foul rook and not die in the opening for once. Not dying in the opening sounds like a strategy. Are they going to do the same thing the last opponent did? Almost certainly, but oh well. It's not something I can control. Fine. Uh huh. I'm spooked. I am super spooked. All right. How do we die this time? Um. So we're going to aim toward the king and pretend that my king's fine.
this floating rook does not actually strengthen the attack. It's just another target. So what would be nice if pawn takes, bishop takes, bishop 5-5 five, five, drop, and then we pick up a silver and promote our bishop. Um, it's hard to see what the opponent does to stop that. So let's see what they do to stop it. Ah, a defensive move. All right. Um, I'm not sure. Well, okay, that does hold the position together for one instant. It does weaken this point, however, if silver takes. This is just like freestyle shogi right here. Our opponent was on a six game win streak, so I wasn't gonna let them just play whatever they want. Um, that's a mouse slip, but I'm taking advantage of it. Because I've lost two games in a row, and I would like to win a game. I'll try to play nice, but uh, time and mouse slips, unfortunately, are part of this online game. Um, welcome. Yep. What is this? Uh huh. Interesting. I wonder what this the meaning of this silver move is. Right, I did foresee that. Um, I didn't know how to counter it, but I did at least see it coming. How do I continue an attack here? Yeah. If it's part of the rules, it's part of the rules. And it certainly is. Um... Hmm. Oh, I could move my rook and lose it. That'd be special. Um, Nana Fun. Hmm. So I wanted to promote my rook so I don't get it trapped somehow. Um, I'm just fearing something super embarrassing. But also, like, I'm... Okay, I was going to drop a pawn to sack it to force this knight to move forward. But our opponent obliges anyway, so I don't need to. No sacrifice required. Um... Still confused how to attack here, though. Okay, given that they have a bishop in hand, we're just gonna like 
play normally and try not to hang stuff. Um, so we'll just not hang everything in the corner here and wait for them to define how they're attacking. Well, that's a, that's a good attack idea. Um, Well, okay. Ah, that makes sense. Or it seems to, anyway. Um... Gofun. We're going to do Subway Rook. Apparently. Unless I can find some other way to invade here. But, like, Subway Rook clears. Um, defends a lot of stuff and gives my rook something to do. I could lift the rook, actually. Um, that might not be a terrible idea. Usually lifting the rook makes it a huge target. But, no, here it still does, too. The bottom rank rook can be... can be useful, so I guess that's the idea. Um. Hmm. Finally, my rook has something to do here. Even if that's only just pretending to have something to do. Um. Man, I want to have a more direct way of attacking their king. I just don't have such a thing here. I don't think they gave that away on purpose. I think they were just trying to lose a move. Um, I was intending this pawn drop next. With threats like being able to take this. Um...
Hmm. What to do? Man. Oh, wow. Uh, there's a lot of candidate moves here. Just keep the tension, don't we? Um... Sampun. Bishop five five. You know you want to. You know I want you to. <laughs> I found a counter to bishop five five, however. Just I trap the bishop. Um, yeah, so that we don't end up going there after all. Um, Nifun Sanjibio. I don't know how to attack. Something about breaking open an edge. Sounds right. Okay, that is an attack. Um, hmm. I'm so confused what that's supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. I approach. I'm about to lose this game, aren't I? Well, maybe not. Thanks for the Alright, we finally found um, our pace by the end of that third game. What a roller coaster. So, on the day, I think we started somewhere around 80%, and we finished somewhere around 80%. I don't remember. Yeah, it was exciting. Uh, hope we enjoyed. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.